Mondays. Now, this is a story all about how my life got twisted upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there, and tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, it is me, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. How fly do I look? I mean, really. Cuckoo! So first things first, you're probably wondering, Shane, why are you in a gum package? Yes, the paint on the wall looks rather... minty. This is actually my mom's new place, and the green room isn't ready yet. So now we're on location. Yeah, location. It means location, you know. That's what Hollywood people say, location. Alright you guys, let's get into the questions. That's sign language for question, I think. Or is that sign language for badonkadonk? Either way, let's do it. First question, Shane, do you have any pictures of you when you were little? As much as I'd love to say I don't have pictures, I do. Here's me in my favorite childhood outfit. Bam! Mickey Mouse. So now it all makes sense. This is where my Disney obsession comes from. Except now I'm obsessed with all the crazy sluts that they're producing. Speaking of crazy sluts, why am I um, pulling my pants up so high? Oops, sorry mom, I didn't know you were taking a picture. Did I forget to wear underwear again? I'm so bad. Here is me on a Ferris wheel with my grandma. I don't look too happy about it considering the carny told me, ooh, there's a weight limit. So the whole time in my head I was thinking, we're gonna die! And my grandma was thinking, if waffles and pancakes are using the same mix, then aren't they the same thing? Why don't we call them wafam cakes? Or paffles? Oh, grandma, I miss you. Aw, and here's me with big cock on my head. I know what you were thinking, you nasty. Shane, what's the most fucked up thing you've ever seen? My first day I moved to LA, I was out to lunch with my mom. I mean, my girlfriend. Now I was with my mom. And we went to Jack in the Box because, you know, <laughs> I like to treat the ladies good. So we were walking out and there was a guy by our car and he was like hunched over and he was like doing this and I thought maybe he was just dancing. My mom saw him and she's like, Shane, look at LA is so fun. People are just dancing in the street. Well, it turned out he wasn't dancing. He was actually masturbating right on our car. So as we get closer, I'm like, oh, oh no. And then my mom says, um, excuse me, can you do that somewhere else? And he turns around and goes, eat my jizz, bitch. And I swear to God, it was like slow motion 3D. It was like these little clumps of baby batter flying at our faces. Luckily, it didn't hit us in the face or anything. It just kind of got on my shirt. But it was definitely a nice way to welcome us to LA. I'd say it was the grossest thing that ever happened to me, but I'd be lying. Two questions. All right, I'm ready. Have you ever been to Chicago? No, unfortunately I've never been to Chicago, but I do know a lot about it. Why, Shane? Did you read up on it? Did you study it in school? Did you read the Wikipedia page? No, I spent my entire first 12 years of life watching Family Matters every day. It's a rare condition, this day and age, to be on the front page. Something... Something with balls. Days go by! This is something with the family! Okay, I never really paid attention during the theme song, but that was my show! What's your favorite food? My favorite food is, oddly enough, a banana. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, Shane, eating bananas, you look so gay. Uh, no, you can eat a banana and not look gay. Watch. <laughs> isn't working. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. By the way, I kind of pimped out my Facebook. So check that out, link is in the crotch. And leave me a question, maybe I'll answer it. Leave me a costume, maybe I'll wear it. I know what you guys want, and I'm gonna give it to you. The Carlton! Doggy Carlton! <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. All about how my life got twisted upside down And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there And tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air